Hi guys, I'm Sang Jung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you how to make bao. Not like a bao, like not 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 like this kind of bao. Bao bun 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 it's a steamed bun recipe um, i actually share the mantel recipe right here the steamed bun very classic one i'm gonna make like a you know like a little sandwich version of it so let's get started i'm so excited jacob is so excited too i'm so excited oh my god so i have a one third cup of warm water over here and i'm going to add a half cup of warm milk as well Add one tablespoon of active yeast. So this will make the bao bun nice and fluffy. You all know what yeast to do, right? <laughs> and you all know you cannot substitute active yeast. And add two tablespoons of sugar. So yeast will have some food to eat because yeast loves sweetness. That's why yeast loves me. That was a bad job. So yeast will actually eat up the sugar and will activate faster too. Add two tablespoons of oil. I'm using avocado oil. You can use canola or vegetable oil. Okay. We're gonna let them just, you know, yeast to work it up with this warm temperature. And the warm temperature by mean is about 110 to 120 degrees. So when you put your finger in it, it's nice and warm, not like hot, you know what I mean? So that's like a perfect temperature that yeast loves. And the yeast is gonna like little bubble up on the surface and it will take about five to 10 minutes. And meanwhile, I'm going to mix all the dried ingredients into a stand mixer. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can definitely make with the hand. Manto, I actually, original recipe I actually made with the hand it's totally fine with the hand but you know I have a stand mixer and I paid a lot of money so it better work for me two and a half cup of all-purpose flour I'm gonna add in and add a quarter teaspoon of salt because we need to season this bao bun nicely and again another two tablespoons of sugar half teaspoon of baking powder baking powder will help puff up the dough as well using my dough hook i'm just gonna mix all the dried ingredients and hook this up get it hook the hook up hook up the hook all right, look, ooh, my yeast got like nice and puffed up. Add this wet ingredients mixture into the dried ingredients. Now, on about medium low to medium speed, we have to kind of start it slowly like this and let them become a dough. Dough looks perfection to me. The dough should be very elastic, but not sticking on your fingertips or in the bowl. So this is the consistency of feeling that we want for the bowl. But I, I just love doing it. Just shape the bowl like this with the dough. Like this, like this, like this. Like that. And then put it back to the bowl where we made the dough and I'm going to cover and let it rise for one and a half to two hours or until the dough is, you know, triple the size. My dough rises pretty well. Now I'm going to put it on to a working surface. Bam. Don't bother them just too much. Just make a little nice circle. And now I'm just gonna roll out. Quarter inch thickness. Looks like a pizza dough. My dough actually looks pretty even now. Now I'm gonna use my handy daddy wine glass. Um, this is about two and a half inch, is that right? Three and a half inch size of either biscuit cutter or like this glass or any like a little bowl that has a little, you know, thin, sharp edge and just make the circle of it. Okay, 
can definitely reshape this and repeat the process until the dough is gone. But after you play the dough like this, the dough needs a little rest before they flatten out because they won't listen to you right now. They are like a little teenage boy or a teenage girl. So let them rest a little bit, finding themselves out and all that stuff. And so we are putting the oil a little bit on the surface. So when we fold the dough, so they won't stuck together, oil spray will do the job and just fold it. And after you folded the dough, and you just kind of gently roll the dough with a very light, gentle pressure. And put in your steamer. And I like to just cover my steamer with coffee filter. Just put it like this, a little bit. Do the job. Place the dough. Give them enough room about, I would say, about an inch from each other. Believe it or not, they get real bad. <laughs> <laughs> so this is good to go. Now I'm going to cover and let it sit another 30 minutes. Okay, and I'm just gonna continue to doing with my rest of the dough. You can just use any steamer you have. You don't have to use a bamboo steamer. And your lid, I highly recommend to cover with a kitchen towel or a cheesecloth. So this way the water wouldn't drop on the surface of the dough. So I've been boiling water in my wok to place my bamboo steamer or whatever steamer you're using, place your steamer on top of the top of the boiling water that does not touch the surface of extra steamer, okay? And steam them for eight to 10 minutes or until they are nice and big and fluffy, but you cannot check in between, okay? You just have to trust the process and let the eight to 10 minutes go by. What was it that I said? Probably something foolish. They didn't make much sense, but you remember it a year later when I saw you. Oh my goodness! Hold ya, told ya. Then I need to hold ya. You said come right on over. I could not wait to show ya. I cherish all your life. Just by itself. And after all this time. Oh my God. It's so fluffy. Mm. Come to watch the next one. We made this bao bun. This bun. For this, the gua bao, the pork belly sandwich. Watch the next one. You came this far, keep watching. I'm gonna share the how to make the filling for the pork belly for this bao bun. So anyways, if you like the mine, this a fluffy bao recipe, please give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Songjong Longas, and <coughs> bless me. <laughs> and this is Asian at home. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. If you make my recipe, don't forget to take a picture and tag me Sangyang Longas on Facebook and Instagram so I can shout out, like and comment on your picture. I love you. Feeling fine. Cause you said this is all